Queen Elizabeth had a favourite in-law, and it wasn't Meghan Markle or her successor, newly appointed Queen Camilla. It's revealed that Queen Elizabeth was rumoured to have made changes to her will before her death, and it's likely to fall in Catherine's favour. Prince William's wife is expected to inherit the late monarch's pricey jewellery collection, set to be worth a whopping $110 million. The 300 personal pieces belong to the Queen and not the Crown, an important distinction. In July, sources told, she's been focusing on her beloved pieces and who deserves what. The whispers are that she's made some last-minute changes to her will that will be a shocking surprise for her heirs. Catherine is clearly the family favourite and insider spilled, adding the move will likely trigger Camilla, Meghan and their significant others, King Charles and Prince Harry. Meghan and her daughter Lilibet are expected to get the royal shaft. There's a very good chance the Queen won't leave either of them any jewels of value, the pal revealed. It's not surprising, since they're not members of the royal family anymore, the insider continued, but it would be a real slap in the face. When it comes to the Queen's jewels, we're told Catherine and William are not worried because they knew where they stood with Queen Elizabeth. While Catherine's likely to pass some of the jewels on to her daughter, Princess Charlotte, she and William really don't want Lilibet to be left out. As for Meghan, she's not their concern, scoffed the royal insider. If the Queen does indeed cut Meghan out, some people think it won't be out of spite but practicality. Others say it would be the Queen sending a message to Meghan and Harry, you reap what you sow. The Princess of Wales was photographed making a subtle tribute to the Queen as she and the Prince of Wales headed towards Buckingham Palace to receive Her Majesty's coffin. Dressed in a smart black ensemble, mother of three Catherine donned an elegant pearl necklace when appearing with her husband, Prince William, en route to the Royal London home. It's thought she may have donned the simple jewellery option in a sweet nod to the late monarch, who was known to favour wearing pearls. The Duchess, who was dressed all in traditional morning black, added a necklace featuring multiple strings of pearls, as well as pearl earrings. Pearls are often worn by royals when they're mourning, in a tradition that dates back to Queen Victoria. They were also a staunch favourite of the Queen, who regularly wore a pearl necklace, including following the death of her husband, Prince Philip, last year. There has been an extraordinary display of solidarity between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and William and Catherine, the new prince and princess of Wales, in the wake of Queen Elizabeth II's death. Sparking reports, the formerly feuding couples may walk side by side behind Her Majesty's coffin at her funeral on Monday. Reacting to the royal truce on Wednesday, Sunrise host Natalie Barr questioned whether the Sussexes should now back off from taking public swipes at the firm by canning Harry's upcoming memoir and axing Meghan's controversial Archetypes podcast. Should Harry and Meghan just maybe take a step back, is it even possible? Barr wryly asked reporter Bianca Dai, prompting her co-host David Koch to chuckle. Look, I don't think it's possible, no, replied Dai, who noted that Meghan had officially paused the upcoming episode of a Spotify podcast as a sign of respect for the Queen's passing. Apparently, Meghan's team are pouring through it to make sure the last four remaining episodes don't have anything offensive towards the royal family, Dai added. 